it's not what you look at that matters it's what you see and how you react with the aim to bring change and a vision to serve the world journey of an actress rajdhani started in 2016 it's been 5 years of endless learnings and unforgettable adventures with 40 plus members five successful entrepreneurs and four projects the experience has been enthralling An actor Sharjani believes in building a happier world for people and aims at achieving a few of the 17 sustainable development goals. We are dedicated towards inspiring students to improve the world through entrepreneurial action. In actor Sharjani has worked on the following projects in its 5 year journey: Project Junoon, Project Falhal, Project Bamboo, Project Kulhar. A study conducted by Unplastic Collective revealed that India generates 9.46 million tons of plastic waste annually, of which 40% remains uncollected and 43% is used for packaging, most of which is single use. The world uses 500 billion plastic cups every year. 500 million straws are discarded each year, none of which would ever decompose. All these figures can certainly make anybody wonder whether the human life is possible after some years. The answer we really get in all our minds is no, but it can be changed and the change will start with us. So we came up with the thought of promoting the use of alternatives of plastic along with providing employment to unprivileged people. After the escalating use of plastics every day and finally the announcement by government of India to ban plastic in 2017. We initiated the idea of Project Kulhar and Bamboo. Project Kulhar and Bamboo seek to promote the usage of eco-friendly products such as bamboo straws and colored and placed of plastic straws and cups. Our project is inclined towards the production of two major substitutes of plastic that is bamboo products and kulhars and promoting it in the market in order to replace as many plastic products as possible. Our project aims to bring about a positive impact on the environment through switching to more eco-friendly products. With our project, we plan to create a platform for these local artisans to promote their business and sell their products to other local businesses in need of using them. By reducing the use of plastic, our aim to protect the environment also gets fulfilled simultaneously. The objectives of the project were primary and secondary. Primary objectives: promote local vendors and artisans. sell these products to our target audience at prices lower than the market establish a marketing platform for locally producing vendors secondary objectives reduce the use of plastic implying a reduction in the pollution caused by it contributing to the education system out of the profits generated the target audience is divided into two segments producers and consumers producers the producers of kulhars and bamboo the logistics etc who will be provided with employment opportunities and a market to expand their customer base consumers restaurant owners cafes local sweet vendors and households these will be our key consumers and will be targeted through awareness and promotional programs researching some data we discovered the street of kumhar market in uttam nagar We thought of building local artisans into successful entrepreneurs by giving them bulk orders which will provide stable income and will also help in propagating their skills. The structure of the project is as follows. Research team researched on all the required data. Field work was conducted to know everything better. Transportation and storage was carried out followed by its marketing and selling it to target consumers. Project Kulhar was conducted in two phases which started from acquiring to selling to bringing about a change. Phase 1 included a trial run of our idea which included small orders and promotion only through college fest and diwali melas. We gave an order for 300 kulhars, 120 pieces of small kulhars for rupees 4 per piece and 180 pieces of large kulhars for rupees 7 per piece and made the following sales. Sales in diwali mela 23 small kulhars for rupees 5 each 57 large kulhars for rupees 12 each local tea vendors and shops small kulhars 90 large kulhars 100 remaining kulhars were kept as stock we incurred a loss of rupees 302 in phase 1 but it still seemed a success in getting popularity because of its environment friendly method to curb plastic packaging so we went ahead with phase 2 
Phase 2 included a large order of 1200 kullars and we expanded our customer base with sweet shop owners, cafes and restaurants. We were getting orders every week and were able to make a profit of rupees 498. Although profit made wasn't a large amount but we were able to contribute to our environment and bring a change from plastic to eco-friendly packaging. Also the terracotta industry was also given a push which earlier was slowly going out of business. Project Bamboo Bamboo is a vast source and it is currently not efficiently tapped as of yet. Our society found this as an opportunity and came up with Project Bamboo. Bamboo is found in abundance in Assam, so we wanted their producers to be able to use markets of Delhi as well. Our team contacted a producer of bamboo straws in Tinsukia district in Assam and gave order for 300 bamboo straws. They cost us rupees 5 each, including the transportation cost. To market them correctly, we arranged boxes made out of recycled paper and sold 6 bamboo straws in one packet for Rs. 60 each. Packaging cost came at Rs. 300 total for 50 boxes. They were sold as follows. Diwali Melas in College Fest, Cafes in Punjabi Bagh, Restaurants in Trajori Garden. Total revenue was Rs. 3000, which after reducing our expenses earned a profit of Rs. 1200. Why anyone would buy our products in place of cheap plastics, the reasons are cost effectiveness, reusability and health. Marketing strategies used by our team were setting up stalls at college fests, banners and posters, regular campaigns and NGO visits and promotion on social media platforms. The sustainable development goals covered through our projects are SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production SDG 8 Decent Work and Economic Growth SDG 11 Sustainable Cities and Communities SDG 4 Quality Education The projects impacted the environment and the society economically as well as socially. Economic Promotion of local businesses, vendors and artisans providing target consumer with the products at a price lower than market rates. Environmental Production of those products which are cost-effective, eco-friendly and reusable, bringing a cost-effective substitute of plastic in the market. Social, bringing the local products nearer to the consumer market and bridging the gap between two sectors of the community, contributing major part of profits for the betterment of the society. We aim at expanding our project in the future by engaging more producers and consumers. We have thought of the future scope of the projects like Expansion of Project Kulhar by making Kulhar handies and other play products to empower the local. Expansion of Project Bamboo by inducing more variety such as bamboo plates, bowls and containers to completely replace the use of plastic. Build a layer marketing platforms to target more businesses and seek investment from private sectors. Recruit more people into the process of production, transportation and distribution to generate more opportunities for employment. Earning a revenue of Rs. 1600 plus, building 5 entrepreneurs and contributing to the needed changes for the environment, we strive to continue this journey for many more years to come. We aim at creating a better future. We empower people. We believe in building lives. We are an active Rajdhani. We all win.